Hello and welcome back to another video on Serious About Salvage. Uh, today we are finally getting back on the Audi A1 style edition that's been in the corner for a few weeks. I think I've mentioned in other videos, the problem has been parts. In particular, the corner bumper for the passenger front side. Pre-first lift S line, they're pretty hard to come across. Managed to get one in the end. It is actually a guy that watches these videos. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, I'm just gonna turn around because there's a bit to go through with this car because I have had a bit of work done prior, well, since the end of the last video. And it's better if you're looking at it when, when, we, when we talk about what we're gonna do. So let's spin around. So there she is. Um, so the plan really now is to build this car up because I've got a lot of parts for it. In particular, I've got this wing, which I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but the actual colour is the wrong white. This is a Malfi white, whereas the car under this thick layer of dust is Glacier white. I did know, but it was the best condition wing available and there wasn't any in colour. So what I've done, I've painted the edges so we can fit this up and then when it goes to the body shocks, obviously we know the rear quarter is getting painted. The guys wants to paint the whole side because obviously there's a bit of damage to the bonnet as well. So it's all going to get painted this side and the front. So yeah, that's why I painted the edges. So we're going to fit that today. We are going to repair this wing, this bonnet edge. If I open it, it might look a bit better. See, it's just, just a bit. It's not bad. Just wants hitting out a very fine skim of filler, probably. And that'll then get painted. And he reckons up to that body line, he'll be able to go up to. So um, it'll, if it doesn't look right, then the old bonnet will get painted. We'll just have to see how it goes. We had this damage on this rear quarter, didn't we? As you can see, it's now gone. So what happened was, I sent it down to a local body shop who did the pull because if you remember this was right this was right back here it was about two and a half inches back maybe somewhere around here so they've pulled it they've just put like a first skimmer filler in it's not fully there when I take it back fully built they're going to obviously fully prep this side and then they're going to paint it all um, so it'll be a lot better I mean, it's, it's not bad, it's got a nice ice line. Still work to be done. But it's getting there. I've got um, a new splash guard for this back because it's ripped the back of there. It's in the boot here, here it is. New splash guard for the back. I've got a new side skirt, which is this one if we can get it out unfortunately not in colour but again it doesn't matter because the whole side's getting painted so we've got that I've got a new air box because well because of that <laughs> obviously I don't need the bottom half but I couldn't get just the lid so it's a shame really, that's all we need, the lid off it, but maybe I can resell the bottom half. What was it? I think it was 35 quid or something. I'd rather, I don't, I just don't like the look of that. It ruins the engine bay for me. Needs to go back to standard. So I've got that, so that's going to be an easy swap over. I have ordered a front splash guard, but it's not turned up yet. We've got a new centre grill. So what I decided the centre grill was, um, now, obviously this is the, the chrome trim. These would have come with um, a gloss black trim on the middle of the uh, centre centre grill uh, because it's a style edition with the black pillars. Um, they, they didn't have the chrome surround. They did have the chrome Audi badge, but they didn't have the chrome surround. So couldn't find one with the gloss blacks around and all the grills on ebay have all got damaged to some extent 
and this was the best one I could find for the right amount of money. The actual grill itself, there's no damage, and that's exactly as, as the one that would have come on it from factory. Unfortunately, there's just one little little break on the on this. Now, obviously, I wanted to take it off and paint it anyway, so I can fix that, and I'll uh, I'll paint it gloss black, and um, then it'll look like it came from factory, which is what I wanted. I could have got an aftermarket gloss black grill, but I'm just not I'm not keen on them. I don't think it would have looked right. This was £140, these two. They were always, that was on there, but even with that, it was £140. They're not cheap. So that, that was the best option. Uh, so we can fit this, we can fit all the bumper. I'm pretty sure I can put that in at the end and just it just clips straight in the front, I'm pretty sure. So um, I'll probably do this off camera whilst the car's not here. So yeah, we've got then the whole front bumper to rebuild because this is our replacement piece for this corner to go on there. Now, yeah, it's the wrong colour. It's not perfect condition, but honestly, it's the only one I could find. And I've waited, what, six, eight weeks for that to turn up. To, to one, one be available, should I say. Uh, in terms of all the grills, we've got all them, haven't we? We've got the spotlight still in the original bumper corner. We've got this grill, which is still perfectly fine in the back there. And the grill around the spotlight is in the footwell. Nothing wrong with that. Perfectly fine. So we've got... Not sure where that goes. Uh, we've got everything. Oh, this last piece, last piece. This, believe it or not, 60 quid. 60 quid for that. Oh, they had my pants down, didn't they, there? This is the piece that goes in between the two corner pieces. So, pretty sure that is everything we need obviously except the splash guard's not turned up yet but that's not going to stop us or hold us back uh the only one other thing i haven't got is a wheel i'm still searching for a wheel but again that doesn't stop us at going to the paint shop that can be a last minute addition so yeah that's the plan first things first the wing we can't change wings on the ramp because it's too poor so you can't open the door to get to fixings um i'm not sure this one actually might be fixed through that way so i could actually do it but i'm not i'm doing it here I'm doing it on the floor and i think i'm just going to persevere with the build with the boot with the um, bumper and uh and just change it in place i'm kind of hoping i don't need to take this side off i can just kind of piece it together here because it's it's all attached it's all nice i don't want to pull it apart i mean it is going to have to have a little bit of attention it does have a few marks on it so they are going to be painting across the front which is fine i have no issue with that but i don't want it i don't want to, i don't want to take it off it's as simple as that really so we'll try to do this all in place because we've got a perfectly good under tray this um, needs to be put back in place um, all these bits are parts of the old centre grill I mean I might have to I might have to take it off because I think some screws go in from the back anyway so I might have to take that corner bumper off anyway that's for a little bit further along the video we're going to do this wing so in terms of fixings fixings uh them two one there one there there's going to be something up through the wing so it looks like you have to take them two out that one and that one out to take this bracket off and then there's two underneath that bracket um, I know there's two behind the splash guard down there so what might be best is if we jack it up 
take this wheel off and take the splash guard out. It's got to come out anyway, it's being changed and it'll get out of the way. And then we'll be able to get to them fixings and there'll be two fixings up there. Does that all make sense? Tried for 10 minutes, uh, so <laughs> let's get some work done. Okay, so we have the wing off. Um, nothing, no issues behind it. I mean, no damage, which is ideal. Uh, even the wing bracket looks to be fine. That's going to be okay, bumper bracket. Um, the hardest part, really, was shifting this dirt from out of here because it's like cement. It's solid. So, yeah, I need to clean it out before I uh, put the splash guard back in that I haven't got yet. Um, but yeah, everything else, no, nothing. No damage. All perfectly straight. Just a bit dirty, but they always are. So we really are ready to put that replacement wing on. I must remember uh, not to throw this wing away until it's come back and we've replaced the badge. But obviously the badge can't go on until it's been painted. Um, so I thought quickly, let's just change this filter because it's it's doing me in just seeing it, honestly. So I thought I'd just do it quickly now. Take that off there. That should... Ah. Ow! That should come off there. I think there's a little pipe on the bottom. Yep. Let it come off. Yeah, just a little rubber pipe on there, that one. That is gone. What's it say? F Racing Simon Sport action? Some of that? Don't know. So I've, I've took the lid off our replacement. We only need the lid. <sighs> Funky air filter on these. I mean, I probably should replace that at some point. I probably will. Um, 
this should just go straight on there now. Just sit in there. Oh, perfect. Uh, must remember to put that rubber pipe on the bottom. I'm sorry if you can't see anything at the moment, but there we are. That's on, that's on. I'll put that back on because I need two hands to use the pliers. And then it's just a case of popping all the screws back in. But doesn't that look a lot better? Looks way better and it'll sound better as well. And not sucking in all that hot air. And also, whilst we're in the engine base, shall we, can we just appreciate how convenient the oil filter is? How good is that? Get your hand straight on it. I mean, it's tight, but how convenient is that? I mean, it doesn't look great, granted. A bit ugly sat there but it's not the prettiest of engines i mean it's not the worst but sometimes these oil filters aren't in some bloody staff places especially when they're down that that corner above the um drive shaft so yeah convenient that for uh, audi thank you right i'm gonna throw these bolts back in the air filter box uh, i'll do that clamp on the pipe and then we're going to be back on putting this replacement wing back on should go just as easy as the one we just took off went and the headlights not moved so i mean that's still fixed in these two fixings so the wing should butt up nicely to that headlight line up with the brackets i mean there's a lot of fixings in them now so what was it four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 12 fixings holding that wing in. Quite a lot, isn't it? Whew, let's get it back together. There we go. Went very well actually that. I've got a lovely gap now down there. That's pretty much, that's perfect that now. Even in line with the bonnet. That's great. 
It's nice and flush with the headlights. It's a bit tricky to line up with these bonnets because the bonnets do overlap anyway. They don't, do you know what I mean? It does overlap the wing, overlaps headlights. The bonnet light just goes over everything on these. So it's a tricky one to line up. But uh, yeah, the next up really is I want to, what I might do is just hammer that into the right place and I'll probably let the body body, body shop just um, fill it because it's only one of water tiny little bit. I'll just get the lines line straight on the outside. Leave the rest to them. Um, you can see now just how much of a different colour that white is now. A Malfi white to Glazier. It's a big difference. But with the, with the edges now being done, it makes it a lot easier for them. They can just mask up, blast down the side, and they're okay with that. In terms of the bumper, they want me to build it up, but only hold it on with a minimal amount of fixings, because obviously they'll take that bumper off to paint it, and then um, deal with flicking it in if they need to afterwards. So that, that is the plan anyway. That is the plan. But it's going well. That looks a lot better like that. So I'll get my rubber mallet, see if I can straighten this up somewhere near. And then I think we are going to be best off just pulling this, this side off. Because, yeah, it does it does screw on the back, doesn't it? And the centre grill screws in. So um, it's going to be the easiest way. So going to be maybe two or three screws underneath. Um, couple through the splash guard, one there, one there, one there, and then there'll be one up through that corner, I would have thought, and it'll pull off, so it's not going to take long. It's going to be the best way of doing it. So, let's continue.
There we go. Starting to look like a car. I'm liking it. I like it. It's lining up good. Looks so much better with that bumper on, even in three different colours. I can't get over that bottom middle piece being 60 quid though. Broke my heart, that has. Hmm. Right, well, in terms of going to the body shop, that's, that's it. They don't want grills in. Um, it'll make it easy for them, so obviously it's only held on with a bolt here and a bolt there. Um, not sure what I'm going to do about them yet. I might put one in there and that side. But yeah, it's, it's at that point now where it needs to go to body shop. I've pulled out or I've hammered out this edge. So that edge is now in the right place. Now obviously it does need a bit of filling and it needs painting. But they'll take care of the rest of that. But it's come down and it's nice, nice and gapped you know, between them, bonnet and wing. All gaps look good. All gaps look really good. Once this is painted now, it's going to look really good. Nice car. And like I said, in the meantime, we can be sorting that chrome grill surround out, get that gloss black. And then when it comes back, it's going to be a case of building it all back up. Obviously, the bumper's going to come off. Build the bumper back up, the rest of the bits. Refit it all, line it up nice, turn it all down. In the meantime, hopefully the splash guard for the drivers for, will have come. And then it's just this wheel, isn't it? It's just this wheel. I need to sort this wheel situation out. But that's great. That is, obviously, barring putting the wheel back on and putting it back on the floor, that's exactly where I needed to get this car to. So happy with that. Very happy. Right. Um... I need to make sure I put the side skirt in. So they've got that. The rest, nothing else matters, does it? Everything else is on it. I'll put all the bits back in it so at least it's all together when it comes back. Just in case they want anything. Uh, but yeah, great, excellent. Almost there with this. Right. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you as always for watching. Massively appreciated. I hope you've enjoyed. Big thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe uh, so you're notified of all future videos. Um, I've got another car outside. I've just bought another car. So things are starting to turn around in terms of... I'll turn around. Maybe it's probably a mess. Or lack of. Um, in terms of uh, prices at the auctions, things are looking like they're starting to turn around. I mean, what have we got now? This, I've managed to buy three cars now since Christmas so some things are still a little bit silly I didn't really get the one I wanted I'm not going to tell you about it I got a different one um, maybe I'll, I'll explain when that car's here but yeah there's lots of this too I've got one outside I haven't got in here yet and I just want one today I need to go and collect so plenty of stuff going on so yeah make sure you're subscribed and you'll be notified of all them videos when they come up right thank you very much for watching massively appreciated I will see you in the next one. Cheers.